The Good Lie tells the powerful story of the lost boys of the Sudan. I'm here in Nashville for the premiere of the movie. I'm going to bring you the inside scoop from the stars of the film. I let my brother be taken away by soldiers instead of me. Reese Witherspoon may be front and center on the movie poster, but this movie is really about the struggle of young Sudanese refugees. My name is Mamed Deng. These are my brothers, Jeremiah and Paul. This is not just a Sudanese story. It's not an American story. I think this is a human story. The Good Lie follows the lives of four Sudanese children. They're forced to walk hundreds of miles after civil war killed their parents. It's basically what's happening in my country, and some of people don't know it. The movie follows the refugees as they transition to life in America. Are there any dangerous animals of which we should be warned? Such as? Lions. <laughs> no. There's no lions here. The actors who play the main characters all have personal connections to the story. I was um, born in Ethiopia in a refugee camp, and my parents were aid workers for the UN, so very often we have to travel from both countries. And um, I have a brother who was also a lost boy. When I got to talk to the director and he told me he wanted to cast real refugees, at first I was nervous. Um, I didn't know what that process was going to be like, but they brought so much authenticity to the part and emotional realism because a lot of them lived through these experiences. Gare Duaney, who plays Jeremiah, was a child soldier who came to the U.S. when he was 16. You have such a personal connection to this because you, you kind of lived through this. How um, close do you think this movie comes to really telling the reality of it? Are very close, very close. This is this story is a story of millions of people in South Sudan, and not even only that. We are releasing the movie now. The same problem that we're doing the movie about is really happening. So this is a perfect time to really share this story with everybody around the world. What was the most difficult scene for you? <sighs> what this? Uh, because this is almost like my life story or I'm revisiting, so the scene, not only the scene of Jeremiah, even the scene of Paul and Mamere, seeing them going through a struggle, uh, they remain with me. It's, so there's a lot of scenes in, in, in this movie that remain with me. I think it's very important that this story is told because it's not a, a, a past issue, it's, you know, this is still happening now, it's very current. We, it needs to change. Witherspoon takes on a supporting role in this movie, and producers tell me she was the perfect fit. She knew she would be able to bring viewerships in, and, and the audience would sort of see it through her eyes in a way that maybe it wouldn't happen without a movie star. This is a little bit of a different kind of role for you, a little more serious than the lighter roles that you've taken on. What's it like kind of throwing yourself into this emotional movie? It's great. It's fun. You know, as an actor, you just want to take as many opportunities to do different things, and it's exciting to be part of something like this. In Nashville, Tennessee, for Your Carolina, I'm Vanessa de la Vigna.